The greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated to. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bars and you think you're free. free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. It's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying to what happened to the home of the brave. These motherfuckers, they control us now, and no one's talking about it, man. It's not if we slaves. And everybody's just walking around, heading the clouds, and wanna wake up to a dead in the grave. But then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up. Welcome to the end of day. Everybody is slaves, only some are aware that the government releasing poison in the air. That's the reason I collect so many guns in my lair. I ain't never caught slipping, never under. To prepare, yeah, they shade sign on me, they just break it proudly, George Bush the grandson of Alice the Crowley, they want you to believe a lot of the enemy Saudi, the enemy ain't Saudi, the enemy around me, it's fluoride in the water, but nobody know that, it's also a prominent ingredient in Prozac, for real, how could any government be so that, a pie people who believe in political throwbacks, that's not all that I'm here to present you, I know about the black Pope in Solomon's temple, yeah, about the Vatican assassins and how they will get you, and how they clone Barack Hussein Obama in a test tube. It's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying to what happened to the home of the... Three. Fuck Monsanto! Loud as you can. Fuck, Fuck Monsanto! Amazing. This is Paul Wesley, a.k.a. Prince True Chaser, and I approve this message. <laughs> this is about humanity. This is about survival. This isn't just about activism. This isn't just about getting the word out. This is about reaching out and waking up the masses to this genocide that's happening to humanity. They're poisoning our food, they're poisoning our water, and they're poisoning our planet. What else can they do? But what else can we do? Because if you're not out here right now, then you're a part of the problem. This is the solution. Do you think what you're doing is going to make a difference? I believe so. You, why do you believe so? Because we're all out here and we're all spending our time to make a purpose to be out here, so that's good enough. Time is the most important thing in the world. The only thing we go and get so limited of. So. Do, you, do you think time is of essence and that they're poisoning us and our population and they're trying to slow kill us and, and depopulate us through the poisoning of our food and the controlling of our food? Yes, I do. And why do you believe that? Because otherwise they've labeled otherwise. Now why aren't, I mean, I mean, what, what can we do to actually make a difference other than being out here uh, collectively and, 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 and fighting? I mean, what can we, we do to, to make a difference? We have to spread the word. We have to spread the word. That's what we need to do. All right, man, thank you for on it says get Monsanto out now can you explain to me um, what your opinion is about Monsanto well number one the Vietnam veteran agent orange hasn't done us veterans very well since then and now they're trying to push genetically modified organisms in our seeds and our foods I'm not into that seems how a friend of mine had died because of some of the chemicals I don't want this in the system no more. but if it's there I want it labeled at least you want it labeled now 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 what do you think that the reason is for the Monsanto Santo GMOs. Do you think it's to, to depopulate the planet or just control the food? Uh, I don't know if it's either or. Uh, the only thing you can say about that is they're trying to genetically modify the seed, putting insecticide in with that seed so they can take care of the insects and any flies. But they're finding out that you use more pesticides and also other things to keep them going. It costs more now to produce the food. Well, if we look not at organic. Well, if we look at the rats and you see the cancer rate um, with the GMOs and the when they tested on the rats, I mean. It's kind of obvious that when they give it to rats, rats get cancer. So do you think that maybe it could be a little bit of a... Money. Money, when it comes down to... Okay, well, you... Groups like us could say a lot of things about Monsanto, but who has more money to promote it? Well, you're out here... Even have you're, you're, you're out here today, and what do you want to see happen today? And do you, th and, and do you think it's going to make a difference? I think it'll make a small difference, because this is not the only one going on. There's one going on all over the world. Right. So you think that you're... 
I think I essence have. out here will make a difference and change the world. One person at a time. One I, person at a time. I think so too, man. Thank you. Sure. How you doing, sir? Well, why are you out here today? Well, uh, I'm actually from New Jersey, okay. um, but I'm a single father, and I believe I have the right to choose what I feed my daughter, you know, and to give her a healthy living, you know, and it's um, it, it's our, our God-given right to at least have a choice. Now, do you feel that the government is taking away her God-given right to uh, choose what's putting in her body? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why do you feel that way? Well, you know, uh, putting a label on, on a product, you know, is, is not a big deal, um, you know, for, for a company to do. You know, they're constantly changing, you know, the brand, you know, the boxes and everything. And there, there's no reason why, you know, we can't have, you know, that knowledge. You know? What do you say? I mean, what do you, what do you plan on accomplishing today? I mean, me myself, I kind of feel like it's a experience. Our life period is an experience for the soul, and that this is a school for the soul. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that individually, just as being out here is doing something. But what do you, what do you feel like you're going to accomplish out here today? Well, you know, it's, it's good to unite and uh, join forces. You know, we're we're sending a message. You're sending a message, and what is that message, sir? That that you know we we have the right to choose you know GMOs or not you know and and you know we're having a right taken away from us we by, are by not having that label on on packaging. This is Paul Wesley, aka Prince True Chaser, and I approve this message. <laughs> keep your fucking hands out of my food and keep your goddamn hands out of my kitchen. Amen. <laughs> it's true. No, the aluminum that they spray, it, this, the um, Monsanto seeds are aluminum resistant. Go fix. So, <laughs> you guys keep it, keep it safe, and hopefully, I see you guys in the march. The best banana ever. Ever. <laughs> is that is that is that is that a GMO free? It um, is. That's what they said. What's your shirt say? Take a look. Take a look. I'm touching you. Uh, so, a lot of people want to touch my shirt. This is a good shirt. I'm touching it everywhere. Where, where did it come from? This came from. Actually, here for the Monsanto. I, I have this. <laughs> I'm out here for the Monsanto protest. Okay. What do you What do you plan to accomplish today? Well, I'm, I'm hoping to raise awareness. Um, it also feels really good to get out here in March. It's something I've been waiting for for a long time. I was at the last March. So was I. Across the street, right? I don't want it to lose momentum. So I'm hoping to continue the the aware raising the awareness, continue the momentum because I think it's really easy to become an armchair activist. Hit the like button on Facebook. And, you know, <laughs> now she's talking the truth. You yes, say, and, you know, God, dude, and, and, and what are they called? Key, 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 keyboard, keyboard warriors. Um, yes. But see, the thing is, is um, you know, a lot of people are asleep to this. A lot of people, you know, they go to Mickey D's, they shop at Passmark, they shop at Walmart, right. they buy a lot of crap that's poisoning not only us but our future generations. Exactly. So if we have kids, our kids are harmed by it. Exactly. Me myself, I eat like a pig sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes. but 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 I try to be as healthy as I can and I try to spread awareness. So yeah, you know, and I think it's important to put a face to it. You know, and if you say the word GMO, right. most people are like, what? What are you talking about? And then it gives you a chance to talk about it. And, you know, you want to put a face to it and you want to tell people, you know what, this is possible. You can go GMO free. There are ways to do it. And Well, it's from the market to the home, right? Right. I think that um, the most important thing that you can do is to start to educate yourself. It's not a race. You know, it, it's it's kind of like a marathon, but you got to gradually kind of work your way up. Don't try to jump in all at once. But I think it's really important to really make that switch. Because the more you continue to support these corporations that are in basically Monsanto's pocket, right. you're just perpetuating the situation, and, it, and so, it's never going to get better. So here's a here, here's a, here's a question I'm going to ask, if, if you don't mind. Uh, a lot of people they're scared; they don't know if they can make a difference. So, right. like you said, they're keyboard warriors. Right. I just want to hit a like button on Facebook. What is your uh, wor wise words of advice to to kind of inspire them to come out and make a difference? Um, I, I'm going to tell you this, that, that this was all started, this, to raise awareness for Monsanto, was started by a mom. By a mom. Okay, who decided to, she wanted to march against Monsanto, and she got together packets. This is, a, like, a, I think a single mom of, like, three kids. Yeah. And she's the one who started this whole thing, and the first march generated two million people worldwide. So, if you think you can't make a difference, you absolutely can make a difference. Your I, voice matters. Well, does the mainstream media, why are they not here? I mean, obviously... Why what, are they what, not here? Because... Are, are they a part of the agenda? Agenda? Billions of dollars, and they can afford high-priced lawyers to shut up 
the news media to say if you mention any bad word about Monsanto or GMOs, right. you will be sued. And they're afraid to speak up against them. Thank you. So. proliferation of genetically modified foods and the use of the dangerous chemicals associated with their production. Additionally, we're also worried about their efforts to control the world food supply. And I'll tell you why it's very important for those that don't know. In 2000, in the year 2000, an open letter from world scientists to all governments concerning genetically modified organisms was signed by 828 of the leading scientists of the world. It detailed concerns about genetically modified organisms and called for an immediate five-year suspension of their proliferation. And this was in order to conduct a comprehensive investigation to secure the future of agriculture for humanity and for food security for the entire planet. They were ignored. <laughs> Once again, if you visited the table, you will see that the substantial ties between top key expositions in Monsanto that now have positions with the FDA, the EPA, the Supreme Court, not to mention departments of agriculture, the Department of Commerce, the Department of Defense, the Department of State, the White House, the Social Security Administration. All these people used to work at Monsanto. Does that, is that a problem for you? Yes! To add insult to injury, ladies and gentlemen. Another obscene development as we sit here. A Monsanto executive is winning this year's Nobel Prize for Agriculture. The prestigious World Food Prize. They're winning it for creating GMOs. Disgusting! I'm going to tell you that receiving this prize legitimizes this sort of rampant reckless behavior that this biotech company has shown. It also shows and helps validate the ruthless business practices and model that we all know does these things. It impoverishes farmers. It monopolizes our food system. And if that is not baffling enough, ladies and gentlemen, the founder of Syngenta, which is another biotech company, just go look up there. There's another one of those yeah. corporations. The founder of Syngenta is uh, the same biotech giant which is joining Bayer currently and suing Europe to keep selling bee-killing neonicotinoid pesticides. Ooh. They're also winning the prize with them. Ooh. Now, if you don't know, the European Union banned neonicotinoids. That's a big step because our bee population globally is, over, is less than half in the last decade. Uh, but here in North America, officials and politicians, which are financially beholden to the biotech industry, Monsanto, um, they pretend there is no problem. However, I can tell you, in 2010, the USDA reported a 33% annual bee loss for the last five years. And if you do the math, that means that currently the world population of bees is 70% less than it was 10 years ago. And I don't know if you know this, a famous scientist, Albert Einstein, said, without bees, humanity has but four years. And I do not want to te test that hypothesis. Do you? No! So, all this crazy stuff and, and a, great, a great outpouring of support here. We are winning. And I can tell you that since May 25th, Monsanto Corporation has lost money. Yeah. Yeah. Their quarterly earnings report, they reported a loss. Yeah. I can also tell you that the ridiculous Monsanto Protection Act, which was uh, signed on May 28th by our president, which allowed carte blanche 
um, proliferation of GMOs, even if the world decided they were dangerous to human consumption and our population, they would be allowed to proliferate them. That has been dropped, and it no longer is in effect October 1st. Yeah! It's because of our work. Yeah! It's because of our work. So I'm glad everyone came out. Um, you know why I'm passionate about this, because this is our food supply. I mean, right. and it goes to the very the very core of so many issues on this planet, from the government corruption to the, the, the fact that in the last 15 years, the United States is the most unhealthy country in the world. Yeah. It's because the food system is broken. Right, yeah. And I can show you a really good example of a fixed food system is Food Not Bombs over here, feeding us all that food that that's making the rest of the world go hungry, right? We have enough food on this planet to feed everyone. It's being distributed improperly. And Food Not Bombs is teaching the world a little bit better how to distribute food. So with that being said, I'm glad everybody came. Um, our next speaker is John McGoran. He's an author. So can you see in front of you right here? We do not want your junk on our kitchen table. So what is it going to take to wake up? What is it going to take to open up your eyes, open up your mind, and self-empower yourself? Because this is a mind game. The Illuminati's real, love money's gone, and guess what, America? Guess what, world? Until we empower ourselves, and until we empower our mind, nothing's going to change. This is what's going on right now, and we need to get this junk, this trash, off of our table. Because they're not only poisoning us, they're poisoning our children. So what are you going to say when your child's eating that nasty ass food? What are you going to say when they say, Mommy, Dad, Dad, why didn't you fight for me? And that's the magical question. Do you have the magical answer? This is Prince True Chaser, and I approve this message.